through Ruth, Bet heard more about her great-grandparents, James and Sarah Johnston, and their life in a remote cottage on Exmoor, a subject that had fascinated her from an early age. One of the stories that my mother always told was about Granny Johnstone and that she had been born in a cottage um, overlooking Mount Snowdon and then she lived in a cottage on the moor and had 13 children. That was the bit of oral history which I'd heard from a tiny girl and that captured me then. Bet was amazed to hear that she was going to receive a share of Ruth's £25,000 estate. I never thought for one second Ruth had any money. And in fact, when Saul contacted me, I said, there's a mistake here. She lived a very simple uh, life. She had no money, but apparently there was. In the end, Saul found 39 heirs to Ruth's estate. From one elderly lady uh, who lived alone uh, in a cottage in Devon, her estate will be shared out amongst so many cousins, both on her maternal and paternal sides. So a lot of people will benefit from this. One of these beneficiaries was John Bowden, Ruth's second cousin and a great-grandson of James and Sarah Johnston. His son, Will, had grown up in the area and knew all about his family's link with Haw Oak Cottage. We've used it as a, as a base, really, and walked to it or passed it or sort of made a point of passing by just because we've got a family interest in it. Will was delighted when he heard from Saul that he had a long-lost cousin, Bet, who shared his interest in the Johnston family. Bet and her husband, Jim, came down and we all had lunch together at Mum and Dad's and uh, we started looking through old photographs and, and comparing family history. It was lovely to be able to put two cousins back in touch who had never really known of each other's existence. It's lovely to bring warmth as well as money. The money component of it um, is far and away outweighed by the fact that I met up with Will. Since they met, Will and Bet have discussed their shared dream of preserving the now dilapidated Haw Oak Cottage. Realising that we've both got this interest, we decided that if we combined our energies, we sort of far better chance of achieving it. Today, they're making the eight-mile journey across rugged Exmoor to see where their great-great-grandparents lived and get a sense of what life here was like over a hundred years ago. Will's a trained conservation architect and his vision is to restore Haw Oak into a camping barn or an outdoor classroom where people can come to learn about and experience the nature and history of this unique landscape. When you're there, all you hear is sheep buying, birds singing, the wind blowing and the water trickling by in the stream. And that sense of quiet and solitude and you see no other buildings. 